The Earth is in constant motion. It orbits the Sun, taking about 365 days, or one year, to complete one orbit. At the same time, it is rotating on its axis, once every 24 hours. The Earth's distance from the Sun, its elliptical orbit, and its tilted axis all work together to make life on Earth possible. The place where the planet is closest to the Sun is called perihelion. When the planet is furthest away from the Sun, it is at aphelion. Rotation of the Earth is its turning on its axis. Revolution is the movement of the Earth around the Sun. The Earth takes 24 hours to complete a rotation around the Sun. The Earth takes a full year, 365 days, for one complete revolution around the Sun. The Earth's axis of rotation is tilted by 23.5 degrees. The Earth's axis is an imaginary straight line around which Earth spins. Earth spins on its axis once every 24 hours. Earth's axis goes from the North Pole through Earth's center to the South Pole and is tilted. The axis of rotation of the Earth is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees away from vertical, perpendicular to the plane of our planet's orbit around the Sun. Earth has seasons because the axis of rotation is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees relative to Earth's orbital plane around the Sun. In June, the tilt of the Earth's axis puts the Sun about 23 degrees north of the equator, and north of Trinidad. The nautical almanac tells us the declination of the Sun in June, is around 23 degrees north. This look at the celestial sphere, on the right, we see the celestial equator. The red line represents the latitude of Trinidad, about 10 degrees north, and the yellow sun is shown, approximately, at its declination, 23 degrees north. In Trinidad in June, the sun rises and sets bearing around 068 degrees and 292 degrees truths, respectively. And the sun is north of Trinidad when it passes over our meridian around noon. In September, the tilt of the Earth's axis puts the Sun over the equator, and south of Trinidad. The nautical omena tells us the declination of the Sun in September, is around zero degrees. This look at the celestial sphere, on the right, we see the celestial equator. The red line represents the latitude of Trinidad, about 10 degrees north, and the yellow Sun is shown, approximately, at its declination, about zero degrees. In Trinidad in September, the sun rises and sets bearing around 090 degrees and 270 degrees truths, respectively. And the sun is south of Trinidad when it passes over our meridian around noon. In December, the tilt of the Earth's axis puts the sun about 23 degrees south of the equator, and south of Trinidad. The nautical omena tells us the declination of the sun in December is around 23 degrees south. This look at the celestial sphere, on the right, we see the celestial equator. The red line represents the latitude of Trinidad, about 10 degrees north, and the yellow sun is shown, approximately, at its declination, 23 degrees south. In Trinidad in June, the sun rises and sets bearing around 112 degrees and 248 degrees true, respectively and the sun is south of Trinidad when it passes over our meridian around noon. In March, the tilt of the Earth's axis puts the sun over the equator, and south of Trinidad. The nautical omena tells us the declination of the sun in March, is around zero degrees. This look at the celestial sphere, on the right, we see the celestial equator. The red line represents the latitude of Trinidad, about 10 degrees north, and the yellow sun is shown, approximately, at its declination, about zero degrees. In Trinidad in March, the sun rises and sets bearing around 090 degrees and 270 degrees truths, respectively. And the sun is south of Trinidad when it passes over our meridian around noon. Light is assumed to travel in a straight line at uniform speed if the medium in which it is traveling is uniform. However, if light enters a medium of different density the direction of travel changes. This change in direction of motion is called refraction.
all rays of light passing through atmosphere bend towards the normal as they approach the Earth. This bending or refraction of rays affects the measurement of correct altitude. Temperature and pressure affect air density and therefore refraction.